Wait. Okay, is this working? I can. It's playing in this speaker. Hold on. Sorry. One second. Go to Discord. Okay. Go to Discord. Okay. Okay. I'm on it. Turn that off. Okay. Go back to talking. Sorry, everyone. Everyone, give give me a second, please. Oh, yeah, you all good? There we go. Can you hear me though? There we go. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah. You change your mic, and that's better. Yeah, you were on the uh, maybe webcam. The mic camera. Too? Yeah, I think it was on the camera. And then you gotta go back to react. Um, uh, let me just configure video. Sometimes I have um. Like, see, like, wait, what camera do you Thank use? You. I don't know. I think it's a Logitech. Wait, yeah, the same thing. So, it, it, when it's like dark, it gets really yeah, scuffed. You can see both of you guys instead of just. Oh. I gotta fix mine up first. I don't know how to How do you find it? Click yourself. Oh, oh, there we go. Thank you. Configure video. Oh man, it disappeared. Thank you. Yep, yeah, all good now? I think it's good. Okay, yeah, sorry, I was doing some, some, some tech stuff. I don't, I don't like this camera. Uh, it's, it's pretty buggy. You're good. Um, okay, hi. That was a minute. Hi. Um, just a little bit of an introduction. Um, I didn't see the clip that, you post, that, that people posted last time of you, right? So I'm not kidding, by the way. I, I, I mean this in the best way that I can. I have no idea who you are, like, actually. I, that's I no fine. idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, now you not, do. Not because... Wait, 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 yeah, yeah, now I do, yeah, yeah. So it's why I wanted to, like, um, you know, I like these things called, like, interviews, but they're not really, like, actual interviews. Let's see what I would know? love for you to get to know me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just want to ask questions because it's rare that on Twitch we get people that come from the outside world. Right. Like, right? And people were saying uh, that you're a big deal, and I looked, and I, I, I saw all your stuff. I'm, I don't think so. I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. And then it's just like, uh, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, she's a big deal. So that's why it's kind of cool that you spend some time uh, on here doing this, because this is like, this is considered like bottom dweller activities. <laughs> like bottom, this is like, this is like basement dweller, like goblin activities. I was like, oh my gosh, they could do that. I um, love it. Well, I guess I'm one of those now, so I love it. Yeah, also, if I'm swinging too fast and you don't want to send anything, you can tell me to repeat, I'm not going to get mad. Okay. Sometimes Thank people you. ask me like 10 times, it's fine. Thank you. Um, yeah, also, we also play against them, so you're not, so you're not bored. Um, would well, you want to play Fall Guys? Are you good at it? I think I think I'm okay. You okay? You want to play or not? I'm down. Let's do it then. Okay. How do I do, how do, yeah. I do that? Well, wait, wait. I, 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 you know, we could we could do it in a minute. Um, while I install it, because I don't think I have the game installed by now. Yeah. Um. So, what's your background then? Like, how did you how did you become uh, who you are right now? Uh, I mean, I have a very long, kind of maybe boring story, but I got I got discovered when I was twelve on YouTube singing covers. I'm a singer. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, I don't want to bore your your viewers. You put the people that watch you. No. Right? And I don't, and if you have trouble with something that you don't want you don't want them to know, you can just tell me. No, I think you guys aren't okay. bored. I think they 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 like it. I think I don't know. Oh, okay, that's sick. And and so how did that happen? How did you became, went from singing at home? and doing covers to moving up. I, so do you know how Justin Bieber got started? Like how he got originally discovered on YouTube? I saw some video of him and like on like some staircase when he was singing, I think a long time ago. So he got discovered when he was super young and he actually discovered me when I was super young. So I was signed with Justin for a couple years and he's how I initially got started. And then, yeah, I've just been kind of making music and stuff ever since. I have my second album coming out soon. Sick. Okay. So what was your what was your first like breakthrough moment? You think what was the what, the one that you did that reached like new heights that really solidified you as who you are? Honestly, I mean, for doing this for a while, <laughs> for doing this for a while, I feel like it actually wasn't until like kind of somewhat recently I had a song called Reckless that 
kind of, to me, reckless, these two songs called Reckless and Selfish are the ones that I feel like reached a lot of people and, and got people sort of into my music more so. So I think those were, that was in the last like three years. Sick. Oh, was that just like one song? Was that like a part of an album or something? Or Yeah, they were, well, Selfish was part of my debut album, but they kind of were on their own. And um, yeah, I mean, they, they're, they're the ones that have done the best and they're my most like vulnerable songs. So it's been, it's been cool. I love making music though. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's definitely my passion. I like that. Um, you said vulnerable song. Uh, as somebody who's like a, like me, I don't know much about these terms. What does that mean, uh, a vulnerable song? Yeah, no, kind of like a honest song that's emotional and like, you know, sometimes when people write music, they don't want to be totally honest with all their feelings. And to me, that song is kind of like a very honest. That's sort of the okay. best synonym I could use. So you're very involved with the process of making the songs and like writing it and so it's all you? Yeah, I write my songs. I co-direct my music videos, I, I d creative direct, and I kind of do everything. That's cool. Um, whenever you get popular and you have like um, albums, I feel like a lot of people make money and make their income through um, touring. Do you do that sometimes, like tour around and go? Yeah, yeah, I did a, I did 75-ish shows on my last tour and it was really, really fun. I went all around the world, not everywhere. I went to Europe, I went to North America, I did all of that stuff and it was amazing. And I'll be touring again probably in February. 75, okay. And what's that like? 75 shows in a year? Like No, what, what's in, gonna... in like two months. Three months. Well, that's, that's, that's okay. That, that's new. Like sometimes you, then you probably had like two shows a day sometimes if I had days where you have two shows no it was it was like over actually like now that I say it out loud I think it was like three and a half months maybe even four I don't know it was a while ago and it was very crazy and packed in but yeah it was it was over three and a half four months and we went everywhere but there were shows that were like four in a row and then one day off and then four in a row and one day off so it's pretty intense but it's so much fun I love touring okay yeah um I have a bunch of questions about that but I want to I don't want to get into the, into the boring part of it <laughs> um I, th I think that's really interesting though um, so what did you, what did you now? Why are you here? I just, yeah, yeah. Just, no, no, yeah. no. Uh, I still make music. I have an album coming out in September, but honestly, I've always kind of been friends with people who are in more so this world. And even if they just game and have setups and, you know, are in that. And I, my, my brother, for example, has literally had a setup since he was nine. Um, and I just have never fully gotten into it, but I've, you know, I've sat on the computer, I've played games, I've enjoyed it. Uh, I've watched your streams. I've watched people's streams. And I think that, I don't know, it just kind of was something I wanted to try, and I'm sort of at the point where I feel like I've been doing the same thing for so long, and as much as I love making music, I just feel like there's so much stuff out there that is fun, and this has been so fun, and I've only done, like, what, two weeks of streams? Sick. Yeah, uh, hmm. yeah. I, I, I've seen some of your clips, and I've seen some of the, some of the stuff. Um, how, um, does that, like, take away from your days, or are you still, like, doing your normal stuff and normal, like career stuff it's it's not really taking away from the days it's sort of just you know I am not as free at night when I'm doing this but I still feel like I'm trying to be you know like sort of Hannah Montana living both lives at the same time yeah yeah I, yeah I could see that, I could see that. but it's fun, That's fun though. It's, it's it's been like working out well like they haven't been conflicting too much so but when I'm on tour and stuff I don't know what's gonna happen you know when you do like uh, like touring, and I'm sure there's like other artists probably like show up at the place where you do shows at, right? Do, do you meet like a lot of like celebrities slash uh, people that make music and super like superstars or whatnot, uh, such as yourself? Just not. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I I would say that's more so at like a music festival or something like Coachella, for example. You know, like yeah. that that's where everyone's performing on the same stage. On tour, you're really only doing your own shows, so no one's really there at the same time. But um, Festivals and stuff, yeah. You see a lot of people. You see everyone. Oh, that's cool. Have you made any friends with like um, people out there, like like you know, just like you know, like big famous people? Because I don't, I don't know what it's like. Sure. People, like, I feel like I feel like your status on like the outside is it, is pretty big. Because for me, I'm like, you know, it's like I'm living in the sewers. You know, and it's like <laughs> even though I'm popular here, I'm like the king of the rats. Okay, but we're. Is it what? I, that's how it is. Though. <laughs> I, generally, generally though, I, I'm not kidding. That's, that's how it is. So, when I talk about something you call the Normans, right? Is that it's usually people that are outside, like coming from like other fields, like a music, movie people that are actually famous or actually have status. And the way I see people like you is that people that are actually famous, uh, actually have status. So I was just asking, like, if you ever, uh, if you made any friends or like connections with people that are that are 
sure. famous in that. Yeah, world. I guess I've definitely made friends with people who are on that side of the world, obviously being in that for so long. But I mean, I don't really, I don't really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post about it and shit like that. But it's also yeah. King of the Rats, Queen of the whatever it is outside. It doesn't even matter. It's I I think that like all of it's it's really cool. I was telling my friend recently like there's so many different avenues of niches and people that like are into so many different things. And I don't know. I think it's it's really fucking sick. And I I just I don't know. There's so much outside of just like mainstream or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I noticed also that um, some of your fans, um, of course, they're, they're, super, they're super involved in the, in the care lot. Some of the things that you apply to, people are like, they're very, um, how could I say it? They're very involved with what you do and, and whatnot. Um, does that get a lot sometimes? Does that weigh on you a little bit? Uh, honestly, like, because I've had a lot of the same fans for, you know, 10 years now, some of them, I've been able to really create like a great understanding between us. Like a lot of them are, you know, I feel like, like you could say with, you know, your chat and your fans and stuff like they, I feel like understand you and you feel like you have a really strong connection and understanding you guys have, I'm sure like inside jokes and all that stuff, whatever. So I feel like we've just created a good back and forth between us where, you know, they respect me, I respect them and we have boundaries and, and whatnot, you know, so, so it's, it's become definitely not something that weighs on me like it used to. I used to feel a lot of pressure for sure, but now I'm just sort of like, this is me. And if you like it, great. If not also fine. <laughs> yeah. What about uh, when you go in like in the street? Like when you walk around, like so you go to the mall, do you get recognized a lot and stop and take pictures of whatnot? Sometimes. Not always. What do you mean sometimes? Not always. Oh, please. Okay, <laughs> come on. Say it. Hey. I don't know. It, 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 it's, it's not to give me a flex. Like, these are like actual questions. Like, I'm like, not... yeah, I can't go anywhere. I'm the shit. No. <laughs> okay, no, no. Okay, all right. No, no. I meant like... Uh... Like, no. Does it happen like uh, periodically or it's not that much? Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean randomly people will stop me and stuff, but not it's not too crazy. I definitely still can live a very normal life. I'm not on that level at all. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, Where are you I, from? I, I'm from Quebec, Canada. So like all the way up. Right. Right. Yeah, near the water. Um, and uh, we speak French over there, but it's, it's like a scuffed French. Right. Right. Um, yeah, that's about it. And then I moved here like six, six years ago. Where is Where here? You? Oh, um, United States. Uh, I went to LA, then Texas, and LA again, then Texas again. What do you, what do you like better? Um, I think, well, I kind of a boring answer. I think they're both really good in their, in their own aspects. I really like LA. Um, like food, vibrance, like you're close to everything. If you're like downtown and it's like, you're, it feels like you're part of a moment or you're part of something, but it depends what that is. Right. Um, and that can shift sometimes, I feel like, depending on what industry you're in. Yeah. Which, But also, here in Texas, I, I get to go out and, and bike and breathe air that isn't smog. Does, you know, like I can, does Texas feel more similar to Quebec? Oh, uh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah you, you, you go out at night, there's not a... You only hear, like, you know, like animals and insects or whatever, and then you're just going to... You're just coasting. You're kind of you're kind of breathing a real air, you know. Yeah. Compared to LA, like I feel like I get I would get out of the house, and if I want to go take a walk or take a run, I do like ten meters, and it's like PVP, you know. It's like uh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's the war zone. It's bad. It's um, definitely bad. Yeah, so you, oh, I always feel like I'm stuck. Like I can't do anything. Like, I'm, yeah, because uh, I'm from New York, was, so I'm used to like a big place, but I'm from. Long Island, so I'm from like a suburban part of New York, so I'm used to like grass and open fields and land and whatever. So I definitely had that when I moved here. I was just like, this is not what I'm used to at all. Oh, shit, all right. It's crazy. Yeah, um, yeah. Because anything I hear in New York, I hear like honking and and taxis, and that's what that's what my brain does. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't really go to Manhattan. Interesting. So wait, so how old are you? I'm 24. How old are you? Oh, I'm 27. Cool. Um, it's getting old out here. Yeah, I feel it's like, getting um, old out here. Literally, what's happening? Yeah, and I feel like getting old. I listen. I just gonna be. I feel like getting old is like it accelerates almost. Right, it, like time goes even faster and faster. It's like it definitely insane. does. I remember like growing up. Obviously, our parents were always just like. Uh, you know, it get, it goes so fast, and when you get to this age, da da da. And I was, I remember growing up, my birthdays felt so far apart. And what really fucking freaked me out was when I turned from twenty three to twenty four. I was like, that was a year. Yeah. That was a sure. year. It just gets, it gets, yeah, it does get really fucking fast. Yes, I feel about the last five years. Um, so when are you retiring? 
do you, do you, do you, have, do you, do you ever think about that? Like, like when you retire and try to slow down? Uh, not yet. Definitely not thinking about that yet. I mean, like, I definitely want kids and, you know, all that stuff when I'm a little older. Not now, but... Yeah, I mean, it will happen. But no, I'm, I think I, I'll always be someone that's doing some aspect of, like, entertainment. I, I love it, and I don't know. I like making yeah. people happy, uh, whatever. Yeah, for sure. Um, happy as in, like, giving, like, stuff to enjoy and stuff to look forward to and whatnot, right? Yeah, and I like, yeah, just just all of it. I love meeting people. I love all of, all of it. Yeah, for sure. Wait, um, okay, I, 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 if, if it's too far, you can just tell me. Um, where do you live now? I would assume in like LA or whatever. I do, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is it like a necessity for like this like realm of or or, or the things that you do? Um, is it right now? It is. I think like the you know a lot of the music industry is out here, so yes. But I don't want to live here forever. I don't really love LA. I'm not like an LA person. I definitely I don't know. It's just it's just busy. I like I like not busy. I want to live on a farm. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do, do not get like. Do not miss the like the energy and the, like the the vibrance when you're out like on a, on a field or far away. Do not miss it. I miss it or so that... much. I I literally I I don't like. I I don't want to say I don't like LA because I've been here for so long, but I just don't really. I don't know. I just don't feel like it's homey because I don't. I feel like there's so many people everywhere. There's. So just people everywhere. It's just not how I grew up. I grew up in like houses were pretty far from each other and whatnot. So it's just it's just weird. I still haven't gotten used yeah. to it. Yeah, I was born in city, so I, I I don't I don't really relate to being being far out. That's um, man. I, I, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. You kind of got me nervous. And there's I'm not nervous about this because I'm pretty good at decent at doing interviews. But um, Why? just I kind of I'm not just jump straight through it. Sometimes I I get a little bit of a, of a buffer and I can think a little bit. Um, I think you're doing amazing. I could never interview oh, someone. You. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, it just I'm actually really interested in, in in other people's fields a lot, right? Like especially music yeah. and acting. Um, because I really like music, and I think there's like um, when I speak to people that do music, they um all have like creative creative aspects in in their own regard that is that's really interesting. Yeah. Um. Especially since you write your own stuff, because I feel a lot of people don't even write their own songs and whatnot, right? Yeah, I mean, for honestly, for a while, like, not for a while, but when I first got started when I was super young, I didn't, you know, I would just get sent a song that was already made, and then I would just record it and then release it, and I don't know, I just sort of was like, this is not me, like, I, the music that I've always grown up loving and listening to was always stuff that was so honest and real and emotional, and I was like, you can't capture that if someone else is writing something that they don't even fucking know my life. So I just, yeah, I just stopped uh, doing that. I, I made it a promise that I would never really record someone else's song again, no matter what. Even if someone yeah, sends me a song I like, I could just change it, you know, write some new lyrics or whatever. Yeah, yeah, for sure, as long as it, 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 it feels like it's you. Yeah. Uh, I, I, get, I, I get that. Um, one more question. Do you, um, something that isn't music, but something else, what is like a passion or goal you have in the medium long term? Right? That, that you know of. Uh, I just released a book, which is crazy. It's like a mental health book, kind of. And it's just like a little bit about, you know, my story. Like, so I, I've done a lot of like, whatever, interviews, things like that. And I just wanted a place that I could write, you know, my truth of what's happened. Because it hasn't always been easy for me. And like, obviously, if you don't know me, then you would have no idea. Nor does anyone, nor should anyone really give a shit. But I've, I got a lot of hate on the internet when I first started. People were really mean to me. And as a young teenage girl, it was really difficult for me to handle. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to tell my story in my way. And so I wrote a book about that and all my mental health stuff. But I don't know. I don't really have, I don't really have the biggest list of goals I just I feel like even the past five years so many things have happened that I didn't expect to so I just feel like the goal yeah. post is always moving for me that I'm just like let me just keep going every every day is is a day yeah what about um just like like have you had other like another hobby or something that you really like doing an outlet that uh, isn't any of that one more um I would say, let me think. Um, I mean, I've been really enjoying this, which obviously that's I'm not that's not gonna be my answer. But this has been really fun playing games and stuff. Uh, I like to play poker. Really? You yeah. Play, um, why do you play online? Or you've been been like um, 
I like, 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 the, like a casino and play with other people or, or what? I'll kind of do whatever. I like to play at like home games and stuff. But yeah, I, I really like to play poker. I, I like it. I'm just really bad at it. It's like, really fun. I could teach you. I could teach you. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. I'd love that because um, when I was young, I, I kept like getting like virtual credit cards online, and I <laughs> just um, like you know where you, where you load them up with your own money and then you didn't. To put online, and I just, I just kept losing. I, I've got a bunch of debt doing that. It's so just really, really bad at it. It's not easy for sure, but I just, I've always loved card games, and I feel like that's like, it's, yeah, it's just a fun game. I'm definitely into it. Yeah, I was just playing my, my controller. Do you play um, Fall Guys with a controller or not? Yeah. Keyboard. Ooh, okay. Are you more of an uh, Xbox person or? Yes, person. I honestly don't even know the answer to that. I, I've always had an Xbox. So I don't, I guess I'm an Xbox person, but I don't know because I've never tried really anything else. Um, one more thing. One more thing. Wait, they can't hear me, I don't think. Oh, no, we, <laughs> I, I, my thing swapped to, um, nobody was able to hear you, um, because my, uh, my audio swapped to my controller. Which happens sometimes, and it's really annoying. The Swaps fuck? to it. Oh. Like, oh no! We. Yeah, it's really stupid. I'm gonna start um, saying, "Oh, oh no!" This scored output. That is so stupid. It's okay. It's all fixed now. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all fixed now. Um, yeah, now I lost my train of thought. So you're all a big right, animal um, lover. Big animal lover. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And I don't like rushing it, and like going to it, and like originating all the animals. I like to just let it happen right? right so like i like um whenever i see like a new one i haven't seen before mm -hmm. i get really excited because it's like it's like rare and now they're all rare if i don't know about them and i see one it's automatically rare right sure so like i love it because yeah and i like that um it's not even like squirrels that look different so you know have you ever played pokemon before yeah pokemon yeah hey, do, you know, do you know what a shiny is no, see, that's what I was going to say no, because I honestly don't know a lot about it, but I've played it, but continue. A shiny, basically, is a, um, let's say, um, let's say I, you have a Pikachu, and it's, it's yellow and whatnot, right? Uh-huh. Um, I don't know what's the shiny of a, of a, of a Pikachu, and chat, people will probably say, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about, but whatever. Um, if, you, if you were to find one in the game, right, there's a, there's a very, very slim chance that it's a different color. So it's incredibly rare. Okay, so it's rare. One, yeah, you get super excited when you get one that's shiny. Okay. Right? That's how you feel about the animals in your backyard? Yeah, because sometimes like, I actually get Chinese. That's so like, sweet. That's a beautiful perspective. I know that you're not trying to be deep, but that's very beautiful because a lot of people do not appreciate nature and, you know, how there's so many different animals that come in so many different shapes and sizes. I'm with you. I was just talking about on my stream earlier that I saw today a hummingbird and a butterfly facing each other, flying at the same exact place, the exact same place. They were just looking at oh, each yeah. other flying. And I was like, I That's didn't even cute. take a picture of it because I was just like, what is happening? It was like a glitch in the matrix. Yeah, yeah you're enjoying it. Yeah, I have, um, in my backyard, I had a bunch of hummingbirds um, and there is rarer color schemes. Like <laughs> there's some that are, that are just rare. And I, I, I just been looking out because then I, I installed a, um, a, a little thing where they put the beacon in and they- A bird they, feeder, yeah. Yeah, bird feeder, yeah, for, uh, for hummingbirds. Nice. And um, and they're just coming in and out, in and out. And every time they come on, I always look to see if I'm gonna get a shiny. But um, <laughs> even though even though the, it's not a shiny, I still appreciate oh when they God. come. And they drink the water. I'm gonna like, start I calling. I'm gonna start calling rare animals shinies. That's amazing. I have a little fountain like right outside of my house. It's like a little fountain that makes that makes sound and stuff. And birds will just bathe in it and they'll like roll around and f oh my god, it's so cute. I love it. I'm That's the same cute. way. I'm the same way. But the crow, I saw a clip of you getting really excited about a crow. People don't usually like crows. So I was like, wow, he really must love animals because crows are usually not, people don't love crows. Yeah, I, I think it's just because maybe, the, uh, I just felt like it's, I'm in the middle of LA middle of the city it's all houses and it's all like it's all kind of dead and and it's like cement and rock and then i get these cool animals that look really nice right yeah and it has like a crows are like a weird like feather style it's almost it's almost like lustrous <laughs> right yeah and i thought it looked really really cool yeah and i never i never see crows you know it's not about the fact that it's a crow it's like that i never see crows i think one in my backyard it sure feels like it's almost not that it's mine but like it's hanging out with me. That's right? so cute. Yeah, that's true. 
And then I got a hawk. Uh, um, a big one? No, I got, I got a falcon. I got a falcon. So I'm looking around my backyard. And I see a falcon uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the power line. And then there's a pigeon that's just chilling out. And the falcon goes, and he grabs him midair. And he actually lands on, in the backyard next to my pool. And he <gasps> has his, his little, little grippers. His talons. Yeah, on his neck. <gasps> and he's holding him down. And the pigeon's struggling, and after like after like a whole minute of, of him holding him down, for some reason he let, he lets go, and, and the pigeon flies away. Oh my god! And I, I saw an actual like an event. Yeah, that's right? an event. And that felt so special. And after that, I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a bird feeder, I'm gonna get a bird bath, <laughs> I'm gonna get bird food. I and love I that. I want to get. And then you get um, food for uh, uh, squirrels. Of food for swirls, and you get a bunch of, and I got a bunch of bags of food that all different, and put them everywhere, and see who shows up. And I also had <laughs> had I had an opossum. Have you ever seen an opossum before? Yeah, I've seen those. It's like a big rat. Yeah, they're scary. And this guy lived lived under my house for um like four months, and then he stopped showing up. But whatever, I, he was, I think he was trying to find a way inside of the house by scratching under the, um, the wood. My oh, I mean, by my house, I get a lot of lizards a lot of lizards and a lot of snails and what else do i get over here we have a lot of a lot of birds as well but i i don't really pay attention to like what kinds they are so i'm gonna start looking a little bit more and a lot of sure. squirrels i have a lot of trees around my house and there's always just squirrels and i see them sometimes i have these big eucalyptus trees in my backyard that are huge and i'll just sometimes look closely i'll be in the pool or something and i'll see a squirrel jump from tree to tree to tree and it's yeah. so it's so cool i love that it's so cool yeah you know when they jump they have their, their, their tails they do it like a spin it goes like that yeah 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 it's really cute <laughs> that's really really cool um oh yeah i i want to think of yeah have you ever seen um lizards like Sometimes it'll it'll cut its own tail because they grow back. You seen it before? I've I think I've heard of that, but I haven't. I haven't seen it in person. I I did when I when I was young. I was trying to, I was trying to capture one because I had like a little little uh, a little habitats lizard, and then I tried to, to to get one. And I went to get one, and I I, I, I you know I, I was trying to its tail to fell off. It. And it, I think it bit its own tail because the tail it was left behind and it ran away. What? And I got scared, and they told me that it's fine because the the tails grow back. I think that that's true. I don't know, but I think that that's true. Sounds yeah, true. Yep. Yeah. I mean, maybe yeah. Oh, it falls off. They don't. They, don't they just fell. It fall off. Got it. Yes, it's true. It's a defense um, mechanism. They're saying. Oh, and that's crazy. Um, How can we okay. play? What do we do? Do we duos, or are we just playing against each other? What are we doing? So there's coming. Couple of like categories you can play. Um, I'm gonna launch the game and then swap camera and whatnot. 